Hey everyone, it's Kat and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a get ready with me for over 50 or over 40, but we're going to put a little twist on it. We're going to do makeup for people who wear glasses. Yep, I wear glasses all the time. And the only time I don't wear my glasses are when I have to teach ballet. That's when I pop on my contacts or for a special occasion. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. As you can see, I have zero makeup on. I don't even have my eyebrows on. We're gonna start from the very beginning on even how I prime my face all the way to the very end. So let's just get ready with me, okay. Now, you know I'm 52 years old. I have normal to dry skin, hyperpigmentation, fine lines, and we're just gonna jump right in with primer. And of course, my favorite is the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. And I don't put it on my entire face. I just go ahead and put it on the most porous areas of my face. And I've already moisturized my skin. And I've been using this amazing new skincare that I have been absolutely loving. It was sent to me a couple weeks ago, but you know me, I want to make sure that these products work and I want to give you my final opinion on them and give it a really good review. So that will be in an upcoming video and I can't wait to share that with you. But yes, I'm just taking the touch and soul and pressing it into my most porous areas, which is through here and a little bit on my chin and pressing it on my forehead. Now, since I do have mature skin, I'm gonna go in my favorite, the Photo Focus Face Primer from Wet n Wild. It is kind of like a dewy primer, if you will, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's almost like a base tint, but I just put it on the perimeter of my face so I can have that natural glow. And I just apply it through here. And Make sure it settles in. I try not to put it under my eyes, but just around the parameter, like so. But it's such a beautiful sheen. It just gives your face a natural glow. I'm gonna let the primer absorb into my complexion. I'm gonna go in with my eyebrows. And typically I like to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Brow Wiz. I also love Benefits, precisely my brow pencil but I have been loving the LA Shady Slim Brow Pencil. I think you can get it for like $5.99 at Ulta or any drugstore, and I find that it works just as well as the expensive kind. And if you're gonna save money, hey, I'm all for it. But yeah, um, I recently started growing out my eyebrows because I plucked them all out in the 90s. Raise your hand if you did. I know you did, maybe not. But I used to have really bushy eyebrows back in the 80s, and I hated them, oh my gosh. So in, when the 90s rolled around, I plucked them all out. But I'm just giving some shape to my eyebrows. And I usually start a little bit, and then I go over to the next eyebrow, just so one's not darker than the other. But yeah, I love this pencil. It just is such a great consistency and it just works really well with my eyebrows or what I have left of my eyebrows. And it just looks really natural. And there's nothing special about it. It's just like a regular tip. And of course it's got the bristle brush right here. So how are you guys? It's been a cold winter with a lot of rain. Um, if you saw my last video, I was testing out some foundation and it snowed really hard that day and it was so much fun. Of course it melted by the end of the day. Tennessee weather and now we're under another flood watch. It's been raining consistently. So, and I know a lot of people don't like doing brows on camera, but I'm making an exception this time. Okay, so I'm just filling it in. And did you know the closer your eyebrows are, the more narrow it'll make your nose. I feel like it's too wide, but it's all good. Okay, my eyebrows are different. As you can see, this one has a slight arch to it, but 
I'm telling you, this pencil is so amazing, and I think I'm in the color brunette. Okay, so now we've got some eyebrows on. I'm looking a little bit more human. And you know, when you wear glasses, you do want to have a nice brow because you think you're hiding your eyebrows behind those glasses, but the eyebrows are the windows to your soul, or I should say the shutters to your soul, the shutters to your eyes. Uh, yeah. And I try not to angle them down too much because I don't want a downturned look. I want to open up my eye. Let's go in with foundation. I think my primer is in my complexion. It's settled in quite nicely. And I found that this foundation just really lasts all day and it doesn't transfer on my nose as bad as other foundations. But of course, it's the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydro Rescue Foundation. It has an SPF of 45 and I wear the shade 2W1 Dawn. Whoops. And there's the consistency. It's quite runny, but it gives such a beautiful glow. And so I'm just going to tap a little bit on. And I love the smell of this. It just smells so clean. I'm going to tap it on with my damp beauty sponge. And this is L'Oreal $6.99. And see how it just gives my skin such a beautiful glow. It's not cakey. It doesn't settle into my fine lines. And it's made with some beautiful ingredients like chia seed. And it just hydrates all day long. But see how beautifully it blends? So I've been using the skincare that was sent to me and I can't wait to share it with you because it is really brightening up my face. And the great thing about the skincare, it is totally affordable. I can't wait. I did a review on my top five favorite foundations for mature skin. In case you're interested, I will link it up there. But guess what? This one was numero uno. And for very good reason, as you can see. I think it's lovely. Okay, now for concealer, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. This is $6. It offers full coverage. It's hydrating, and it just provides perfect coverage for under my eyes. Now, as you can see, I did have purple under my eyes, but this is light peach and it seems to color correct that area under my eye and it hydrates and it just leaves a nice dewy finish. And I'm just gently tapping it in with my ring finger and then just a little bit on the bridge of my nose to brighten up that area. And then I'm just going to take my damp beauty sponge and tap it in and get my eyes. Now, as you can see, I have these little crevasses here by my nose and I just take my Flower Beauty Concealer Brush and I just blend it there. So it's nice and seamless. This is such a great brush. I think I got it at Walmart for like $8.99. I love Flower Beauty. And then just finish it off, lightly tapping. Foundation and concealer is on. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do some slight contouring. Nothing crazy. And today I'm going to use the Too Faced Tutti Frutti Pineapple Strober. I love this stuff and it, it smells so good. And I'm just going to dab it in. When I was much younger, and when I say much younger, I say in my 20s, I had such a round face. And I knew I had cheekbones under there. <laughs> But the older I got, the more my face thinned out. So I'm kind of grateful that I kind of miss that baby fat though. You know what I mean? <laughs> Makes us look a little bit younger. I think that's why we use a lot of skincare products that plump up our collagen because we do lose the ability to produce collagen as we get older. And being 52 years old, I'm always on the lookout for skincare that's gonna plump it up, plump up my face. Recently, I've been finding if I apply my blush before I set my under eyes, my face is less cakey. I don't know how, but it's been working really well recently. And I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. This is such a beautiful blush and I've been obsessed with it ever since I bought it. And it's just such a beautiful color, pinch me pink. I'll show you, it's really, buttery and creamy. It looks very subtle, but I'm just going to take my brush and just tap it onto the apples of my cheeks and see how it just gives a natural flush. 
it's really pretty. Wow, see how pretty that is? And I can't get over the price. This was only $3.49. Are you kidding me? This is awesome. Looks like I just finished a yoga class or something. I just love how it gives my face that perfect amount of flush. I will set my under eye and I'm just gonna use a little bit of the RCMA colorless powder. Sweep it under my eyes just to set under my, my under eye concealer and through my nose area. Let's do our eyes. I always use the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. This is my Ride or Die eyeshadow primer and I just put a little bit on with my finger. As you can see, it's got like a little yellow to it. And I just tap it on with my finger. I find the heat of my fingers warms it up and applies it quicker. Now I know I'm gonna be doing a look for when I wear my eyeglasses. And the eyeshadow look that I'm gonna go for, since I wear bifocals, oh yes, my eyes are that bad. I'm 52, come on. Um, the bifocals, the lens will magnify whatever is, it's like a magnifying glass. It's gonna make your eyes look bigger. So I tend to wear more neutral shades and not really strong eyeshadow colors or a lot of eyeliner because when you put that eyeglass, it's like a magnifying glass. It's gonna make it's gonna make everything bigger. I'm actually gonna go in with Makeup Geek's Champagne and Rose eyeshadow palette. I know she just did a rebranding and I love these shadows, but these colors are so rich and so pretty. And I'm gonna start in with Sweet Cream, which is this color up here. And I'm just gonna sweep it all over my lid just to act as a layer as my first color. So everything is nice and smooth. So you're wondering, look at my eyebrows and see how janked up they are. Don't worry, we're getting to it. I do love to use a concealer to carve out my eyebrows and that's what I'm gonna do right now. I know, this is weird. I'm gonna take Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue concealer. It's a different shade and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand, like so. I'm gonna make them really cleaned up and I'm gonna take the concealer on a tiny, tiny MAC brush and I'm just gonna go underneath and carve it out. And there's like some, some hairs there that you can see. You can just clean up and create a cleaner eyebrow line. Particular technique kind of saves me from waxings in between. I probably get my eyebrows waxed every three weeks. Sometimes it gets a little expensive, so the concealer trick really helps out. What I'm gonna go in next with is I'm gonna go in with Rosé, that beautiful pink shade through here, and I'm gonna take some on my Real Techniques blush, Real Techniques brush, tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna go right for my transitional color, right through here, above my crease on my brow bone, and just ever so slightly going back and forth. And then I sweep it out through here. Now I know Valentine's Day is coming up soon and I'm not necessarily going for a Valentine's Day look. I just like pink. And I'm gonna go in with Wine Barrel. It's this beautiful chocolate brown right here. Stunning color. I'm just gonna take it on my brush, tap off the excess, and I'm gonna go on the outer corner of my eye and just stamp it on. And I'm going above the crease of my eye because I have hooded eyes to open it up. Then I'm gonna go back over to this side. I like to do both eyes at the same time and go back and forth. That way I tend to do it a little more even if that it makes any sense whatsoever. Yeah, just stamp it on. Careful not to put too much. I think I'll take my MAC brush. You guys, I've had this MAC brush since probably, ooh, cat hair, probably since the late 90s. But yeah, I mean, this is clean and I'm just gonna swirl it and buff it in towards the inner part of my eye in circular motions, just to soften it up. I have been on a no-buy eyeshadow palette since October. I have not bought one eyeshadow palette 
since October. I cannot believe the restraint I've had. The Fenty Snap-Ons, those eyeshadow palettes have me super intrigued. Um, I'd like to try those. Of course, I would love to try the ABH New Amrezy palette, but that one really spoke to me and I actually um, swatched it in Ulta and it was beautiful. Now I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush, BH Cosmetics, of course. Do you see a running theme here? And I think I'm gonna go in with berries, this beautiful cranberry color. And I'm just gonna stamp it on the outside corner of my eye just to deepen that wine barrel out. You know, you know what's missing? I'm missing a glass of wine right now. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more of berries and I'm gonna go under my eye. and try not to stab myself in the eye. Ooh, that is so pretty. Do you see that? Wow. I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone, you guys. Putting some more color in and then just buff it out and just soften it and try to drag it towards the inner part of my eye and slightly go above my crease to give my eye some depth and open it up. Now, I think I'm gonna go in with champagne right through here. And I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna tap it on the lid right up through here and I'm gonna bring it slightly above my crease. What's great about the MAC Paint Pot is that I never get creased eyeshadow. Like, you know, when your eyeshadow creases, I'm kind of fortunate because I have a lot of lid space, so I have a lot of real estate, if you will, <laughs> to play with eyeshadow. Then I'm gonna take my brush and just soften it up through here. And what's so great about Makeup Geek's eyeshadows, they just blend like a dream. Now, I've got champagne in, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of this color right through here. It's called Bubbly. All right, let's focus right here. It's beautiful. It's like a lighter champagne color. I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight the inner corner of my eye. It's not too blinding. And take a little bit up through here. Not where it's just like a speck right there, but just bring it up towards the inner eye. That's pretty. I'm gonna take this tiny Morphe brush and I'm gonna use Sangria and I'm gonna line the lower lash line and slightly drag it out. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the Sangria and I'm gonna go stamp it on the top of my eyelid here on the outer lash line. Okay, now I'm gonna go in again with sweet cream and just a little bit of the bubbly and I'm gonna highlight up just under my eyebrow, just where the light hits it. There, nice. Now I'm gonna take my Benefit Roller Liner and just draw a thin line And I'm not even gonna do a wing, I'm just gonna line it. And notice how I'm not going all the way to the edge of my lash line because with hooded eyes, my eyes are downturned. So I just, I just take the line slightly above it. That's it. And of course, left hand, my left eye, it's super difficult to do. I can't go in and out. I have to go the opposite direction. It's just how I roll. I'm trying to get as close to my lash line as possible. All righty then. Looking pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes and apply mascara and I'll be right back. 
eyelashes are curled and mascara is on. And of course I went in with Essence's Volume Stylus 18 Hour Mascara. You know I love this mascara. Retails for $4.99 and you can get it at Ulta. But I'm also going to use the Essence Brow Gel. This is an eyebrow gel and I love this consistency. It's not too wet. I find that it just adds just enough texture to my eyebrows and holds them in place and it's not too dark. And I feel it just gives it that finishing touch on my brows. Beautiful. I love this. But this is amazing. I love this product. The Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. So there you have it. For lips, when I wear my specs and I have to go into the office, usually all you see is just the specs. But I do love to have a nice strong red lip when I wear my glasses um, because they're black and they're silver. I feel like a pop of color, you got to go with a pop of color. You got to go with a nice strong red. And I'm going with Red For Me from Maybelline. It's the universal lipstick. And I'm just going to go balls in. And I find the consistency is just beautiful. It stays. I mean, that's that's so pretty. Now, you know I love Noblest Skin Glazing in Privilege, but hello, Halo. I've been loving this from Wet n Wild. You have this color, which is like a pearly, and then you have like a coral color here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit of the lighter shade, and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the high points of my cheekbones right through here. And I feel if you go a little bit lower on your cheeks, it could add more texture. And through here, you don't, hopefully, my pores aren't too big up through here, but I find if you just apply it right here, it will not add texture to your face. And there you have it. And to finish it off, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it off with the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Spray. Mmm, yummy. And I am all set. It's always super important to make sure before you apply your glasses to make sure the bridge of your nose is dry. And I did very well set it with my RCMA colorless powder. And I did apply, of course, my setting spray. I'm just gonna let it air dry. How you doing? How you doing? I love my messy bun today. I did a really good job. Oh, and these earrings I got from, I got these earrings at Belk's for like $2.99, retail therapy. Um, I did a collaboration with some fabulous ladies and I'll put the link up there on how to beat the winter blues, five ways to pamper yourself. But this was one of my pamperings. I got these earrings and I absolutely love them. Okay, so everything feels pretty dry. Everything feels pretty set. And we're just gonna go ahead and put on my glasses. Now you see how everything balances out. My eyebrows balance out, because this is a really strong shape of eyeglasses. Uh, these are my Cat Eye Zach Posen glasses. And the lip, I feel, just balance out the whole picture. But there you go. You got ready with me. And I'm over 50, and this is my look for eyeglasses. I think it's beautiful. I mean, you notice how you can still see the color peeking through. The lips balance out all of this up here, and then my eyebrows just frame my whole look. It's not like the glasses have taken over my face. But like I said, I wear my glasses 24 seven. I feel this is such a great, strong look. If you wanna make a statement, I think it's beautiful. I think it's classy. And it was super duper easy. So yeah, leave a comment down below if you wear glasses and if you kind of have a hard time on how to apply the makeup. Now remember, I do have bifocals, so this is gonna magnify everything, but I think I did a pretty good job. What do you think? And in my next upcoming video, as promised, I have been testing out some brand new affordable skincare products and they have been working wonders on my skin. You have no idea. I can't wait to share that with you. So in case you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you joined my family. And for more reviews on makeup and skincare, check out these videos up here. But for now, mahalo kita. I love you. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.